Right. Um, so you see, it's still it's it's now moved to uh, the second um, uh, uh, epoch. Right. So this is the reason why we uh, have used it. So because you can see the training is quite is quite slow. But on your machines, it's going to take a significant. Because I'm using actually using a GPU uh, for my training. Uh, you, you can see here. Uh, the temperature is actually going to 50 degrees um, uh, as, uh, as, uh, as Celsius. And then here, you can actually see that my CPU is, is fully maxed as well. Um, so it's now moved to the third. And then my accuracy is, in, as you can see, it's increasing. 60, 63. <laughs> It's not that I'm broke. It's just when I get money, <laughs> my text starts acting different. <laughs> my body starts behaving like I'm already on the track.
Yeah, you can see it's, it's completed, right? Then the accuracy is, is what? Come on, guys. Accuracy is what? 70%. It's, a, it's 70%. And then I can then take my model. Right? And what I want to do is then I, I want to be able to uh, use these images. Right? So this one called cat or dog one. Cat or dog two. So I've got one dog and one, two, three, four, five cats. I even have a cat wearing a mask. A dog, this is a dog wearing a mask. Yeah? yeah, it's a little dog wearing a mask. How well our, our model uh, 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 does. So what I, I'm going to do is I'm going to then load that directory for single prediction. So I'm going to first load capital dog one JPEG, right? And then my target size is obviously 64 by 64. That's what we trained our model on, on the size of the image. Then what is, I'm then going to convert uh, the image it, right, into, uh, into, remember, we flatten, right? We convert it into an array, right? And then after we convert image uh, into an array, then we flatten it. And then we then put it into uh, to predict, yeah. Remember, model don't predict to be able to predict what we have. So, if the result is one, it means it's uh, uh, is zero. Is it? Yeah. No, it's a cat, right? So, if our image cat or dog one, right? This one is a what? To one. And then we print the prediction. Gives us a what? Okay. It's able to, so therefore, the next one is cat or dog two. Right? And then if you put it two here right? and if we run this the prediction is a what a go cat yeah and then if we go to the next one cat or dog three change this to a three if we run this it gives us a, a cat so there you go classify dog and cats accurately right so that's, that's using the convolutional neural network. So now, uh, even you the code, so what you're supposed to do is run it for yourselves um, and um, uh, make it work, right? After you, you've got the Jupyter notebook, you've got everything that I have, right? Yeah, I think, yes. Um, maybe... <laughs> this one, remember, yeah, this was a, there was a girl and it 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 was a girl and Oh, let's, let's see, let's see, but you know, you know, you know, Gigi. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, you see, it, it thinks it could eat it, it, but it, it does look like a cat, right? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> huh? uh, yeah, maybe. But anyway, yeah, it, it, it got this one. And then uh, this one, obviously, it, it, it's, it's straightforward. This is a this is dog. Right?
And it also thinks that one is a is a cat because of of, of obvious uh, reasons. But anyway, uh, I now run uh, the code so that you can actually have experience in running the uh, uh, website. Yeah. Are there any questions on this? Hi, Doc. Yes. I wanted to check, like, when we checked our images, you said they are supposed to be of the same size, probably. No, no, they're 64. not supposed to be of the same size of the dimensions in our code. What we are extracting the size of the image. They don't have to be. Ah, this. Ah, thanks for that clarification. Yeah, here we've specified that we. This is the size that we want because it has to be a fixed size, not a variable size. So we specify it within our code. Even though the image would be whatever. Yes? Answered? Yes, you answered, Doc. Thanks. All right. So, guys, go, please write your post right experience you right now. All right. Thank you. It could be, it's way much easier to do it that way. So that is as name. It's kind of my under my data sets are can achieve anything that you want to, to use. So let me just uh, show you. Can I present? Uh, let me present. It's fine. It's okay. Much better. Uh, hopefully, my machine will be quick. <clears throat> uh, are we seeing anything? Uh, yes. Y yes. So, yes. Yes. So basically, this is this is the folder that I'm working from. This one. During my 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 data sets, my data sets, my Nema notebooks, a, a machine learning. So if I download anything, I'll just go and paste it in this folder. Right. So when I, I then now go to I then now go to my um I then now go to my Jupyter. You know, if I put it in my folders, say if you are seeing these folders. Hey guys, are you hearing me? Sorry, come back again. Yes, people. Any particular? Yeah. Okay. I'm seeing the and the download the the download the phone number and this, but then the banana map is still on folder and folder and group it away from like the group say where some some places the machine learning this one. So that you can see if you can and go now. I am a, 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 a notebooks, my my attacker don't go eat and then we save it into this folder. So when I open, when I open, uh, when I open, uh, you know, when I open uh, Jupyter, you know, put my folders, as like you can see, as my folders are in my computer. All this computer, all these folders. So in a you know the folder and the which I work from it in a desktop. Then uh desktop I go more MPDA, then machine learning. So you find everything, everything that's on a co fire explorer. So if you do it this way. Like a uh, baba, ba, ba, seta, seta, seta working environment, or that and what about a cola, the cola, the move folder around the data set. Really. Because this folder remove working environment, I'm listening to Gypsy and Senior location, remove, remove, use the micro, chi, 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 like that. Rubo call a name Raro, the name Rapto, 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 Rapto,
teach you the more info then that's how I go to to see. So you can use it in any other like even you can use that same technique. You know, quite short, but no set away in the directory. I will buy by sign on it. Models, I know, I know, yeah, so Shanda, like for, for real data accuracy. I can't even get it more. My parent, it like, let's say, I'm. Is anyone able to answer the question? Is anyone able to answer or respond to that question? Uh, I think from <clears throat> from from the lecture that we had with you, Doug, and so with Don, I remember at one point you said for some models we can have hundred percent accuracy rate. Take for example a model which uh, classifies whether it's a male or a female. For such a model, you really need a one hundred percent accuracy rate because uh, you wouldn't want to embarrass someone to say it's female while this is a man. So it depends on the application. So let's say you are, you are diagnosing uh, um, uh, people for, for COVID or non COVID, right? So if you have an accuracy rate of 50%, <laughs> it means it's a disaster, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. So if, if, you, if, it's, if it's a critical, uh, if it's a mission critical, uh, area like medicine, it has to be of extremely high accuracy, right? So 80% will not be acceptable for the fact that for every 100 people that you're diagnosing, you're condemning 20 people, right? So it has to be, a, a, you know, extremely high. So if it is something where you're predicting uh, football scores, I mean, yeah, big deal if it is 60% accurate. So it actually depends on the criticality of the application. If it's medicine, uh, less than 98% is probably not acceptable. Okay, so what about the dangers of overfitting? Yeah, right. Remember when it was... If in terms of overfitting and underfitting, right? So having a high accuracy does not mean you're over you're overfitting, right? Or, or yeah, having a high accuracy does not mean you're yeah 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 you're overfitting. Overfitting simply means that um, when you've trained your your um, your model, it it, it is. It performs extremely well on the uh, training set and performs poorly on the test set. So what that simply means is there's a huge uh, variance in the test set and in the training set. So therefore, your model will overfit on the training set and perform poorly on the test set. Okay. All yeah. right. So, yeah, so when your model... Uh, it's got a high accuracy on the training set and a high accuracy on the test set. It's not overfitting. It only overfits when it's got a high accuracy on training set and a lower accuracy on the test set. Okay. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Thank you.
teach you know, it choose uh, between the two? Uh, it depends on the version of TensorFlow. You need in the guy install uh, the, the TensorFlow version, which is um, uh, G, uh, a GPU and, and, not, and, and not CPU. So it, it's dependent on the TensorFlow uh, version. It's dependent on the TensorFlow uh, version because if I uh, show you my playlist, so you can see here, I've got TensorFlow GPU and not uh, ordinary TensorFlow. So if it's ten just TensorFlow, it means it's GPU based. If it's just TensorFlow, it means it's CPU based. And if it's TensorFlow dash GPU, it means it is um, a GPU based, and so I, I because I've got a, a, a GPU on on my uh, on, on on my on my machine. Um, this one, uh, Nvidia. Yeah, that answers your question. Yeah. Yes, it does. Uh, thank you. So, so obviously, GPU is way much faster. It's probably 10, 10 times faster or 100 times faster than using a CPU. In terms of the scoring criteria, and, and, and if your project, uh, you know, is is uh, <clears throat> is designed uh, to um, or follows the criteria here, rubric, then you it's not an issue. So there's no restriction on what what you want to do as such, but the idea is for you to be as creative as possible. An employee or is not coming from a trusset of the employee's images, then you should be recognized. Or, or and it's not just out to one or two, one or two, ah, one or zero, I mean, then it should be zero so that is not an employee, is an employee, is not an employee. To, to detect uh, my non-employees entering some security areas, it is, uh, you are shifting from identifying a dog with a mask, but you are identifying what, if the face of a person from a data set, my employees are repable and which is not on the employees, thank you. Yeah, that, that was my line of thinking. You know, the mask came up because mask. That's why I, I thought of that, but I, I had the same, you know, kind of thinking. Thank you for that. <laughs> 